How is everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is about the call of the wild. Ducks and geese are fixed now. So are you excited about the new modern weapon DLC? I think I'm most excited to finally get back and do some duck and goose hunting. So I played Call of the Wild for several hours today. I think they did a much better job fixing the geese than they did the ducks. The geese seem to come in more frequently than before. Definitely they come in flock after flock faster than the ducks. The ducks took a good 5-10 minutes, sometimes more, before another flock would come in. Or maybe I just need to find a new location. So goose hunting's back baby. So let's take a look at some action from today's hunt. I can tell you right now one thing that's still the same as before in the goose hunting. My guy constantly pops out the ground blind. Every time I switch weapons, switch to my binoculars, switch over to my goose call, he just wants to get out that damn ground blind. Am I the only one that has this problem? Drop a comment below if your guy just constantly wants to pop out the ground blind. Let's get out that old Canadian goose call and call in some more geese. We're going to take some shots today. I got 200 plus shells. So I'm ready to let loose and let some steel fly. Now wouldn't it be great if to introduce another map with some snow geese? We got several different types of ducks, but how come we only have the Canadian goose? Mississippi Acres would have been a great place to introduce some more duck types and maybe also have several duck species on the map at the same time. What's wrong with having some teal and some mallards and some cinnamon teals on the same map at the same time? Is that too much for the devs to handle? I don't think so. They got multiple species of animals. Why can't they have multiple species of ducks on the map at the same time? If you ever hunted in real life, you don't just shoot mallard ducks when you go hunting. They got multiple species of birds that migrate down to the south during the winter time so let's get after them devs to make some more updates now if you're lucky enough to get a diamond goose and you got multiple diamond geese man congratulations it took me a long time to get my first diamond so once i did man I, it was like a relief off my shoulder to finally get that diamond goose today i didn't get any diamonds but i did get several rare fur types or plumage types i should say but let's get back into some more action and we're gonna hunt down some canadian geese I'm probably going to head back to Leighton Lake later and try out some different spots for mallard duck hunting. If you would like to see any more videos on Call of the Wild, specifically locations to hunt goose and different locations to hunt all the different types of ducks, drop a comment below. I love some duck hunting. I already have waterfall blinds on all the maps that contain ducks, so let me go back and re-hunt them. I'd be glad to share some Call of Wild videos with you guys to show you all the spots and locations to hunt ducks. let's take a look at the map i'll show you my location this field right here is one of my favorite locations to hunt geese so it's probably six seven hundred yards south of this outpost is something like the western outpost one of my favorite locations it's never let me down always has geese coming in flock after flock especially now since it's been fixed now the cornfields i do hunt the cornfields sometimes to me, it's a little more difficult because you can't see them as well when they hit the ground. So I do shoot them sometimes when they're flying in right before they hit the ground. But hey, 
There's no penalty shooting them on the ground, so let that steel fly and take you down some geese. If you're just starting to call a wild and we always have new players coming in, what a great way to make some money. So you get a lot of cash hunting geese and you can just sit here all day and rack up some cash and you can go out and buy your favorite weapon. Did not have to wait very long at all today. The geese were just coming in flock after flock. So only several minute wait time in between flocks, which was great. So sometimes the wait time is pretty long for the next flock to come in. But well, what a great day. I don't know how many geese I've taken down. Now they do have wild boar out in the fields around this location. So sometimes a wild boar even had some foxes come walking by. I got a love-hate relationship with this field because I waited two or three goose hunts. I kept seeing an albino fox. Finally was able to get a shot on him and guess what happened? I forgot to taxidermy him and I already picked up another goose on my way out there. So bam, no more albino fox from me. And I'll probably never see another one. So this week in February, February 22nd, 2022, it's been a great week for video gamers. So we got ducks and goose finally fixed. We got Bassmaster Fishing Online Classic Tournaments about to start. Destiny 2 The Witch Queen is out today. And my son's been online for 45 minutes, still waiting to get in the lobby. So if you're new to Call of Wild and you're wondering what map this is, Hurstfelding. The hunting reserve is the only location where you can hunt Canadian goose. There's some incredible spots on this reserve where you can hunt the old Canadian goose. Any field will probably work. The ones with the hay bales and the cornfields, you can set up a layout blind and about 20 goose decoys. Use a Canadian goose collar Call them in, use your old 12 gauge or whatever you want. Now you'll see a lot of players, especially on YouTube, shoot with the 12 gauge first and then switch over to a 243 or a 22. And that way you get a few more geese before they fly out of range. Now I've done that before using the 243 or the 22. You get 10 rounds with the 22 and you can take out some geese especially if you're trying to earn cash another great way to earn up some cash in the hunter call of the wild but for me i've been playing for so long cash is not an issue i don't need to buy any more weapons just need to get tents and ground blinds every time they make a new map so i mainly try to focus on shooting the male goose then taking a shot at whatever is flying until i run out of shells or they get too far away well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on hunting down these geese. I'll see you next time, guys.